What is Netflix thinking? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and today we're talking about what in the heck is going on over at Netflix. Cuties? Really? If you don't know what Cuties is, let's look at Netflix's description of what Cuties is. Amy, 11, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. Hoping to join them, she starts to explore her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Amy, 11, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. And this is the image that they used as a poster for that movie. Really? You couldn't be more subtle? So, as it should be, Netflix is receiving a lot of backlash for this movie, for good reason. This film is basically pushing whatever, I'm gonna say it, a pedophile agenda. That's what it is. This movie is rated TVMA, okay? It's for mature audiences. It's for adults. It's not for kids. It's not even for teens. It's for adults. For adults to watch kids that are 11 years old twerking. What am I supposed to assume? So they've been getting a lot of backlash. In fact, there's a change.org petition. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of, it's close to 150,000 signatures, at least at the time of this recording. I'm actually gonna put a counter in the, in the bottom here because that it, it's literally every second people are signing that to get this trash out. To give you an idea of how trash this movie actually is, let's look at Netflix's very own actions, okay? Because they since went back and changed the description of this movie. I'm guessing so it could be better palatable. And they changed it to 11 year old Amy starts to rebel against her conservative family's traditions when she becomes fascinated with a free spirited dance crew. Yes, that sounds so much more enjoyable and lovely to watch. You're not fooling anybody. And in fact, 4chan, 4chan, the home of professional trollers, they have come out completely anti-Netflix and especially this movie. Even so far as going to say, do not post any imagery from this show which sexualizes children. Anyone posting images or videos sexualizing children will receive permanent bans. Netflix may allow this crap, 4chan does not. And to go a little further into what is going on over there, somebody from 4chan was actually messaging back and forth with somebody at customer service at Netflix. And this was the interaction that they had. Let's, let, let's take a look. Do your, content, do your content teams review content before it is added? Netflix, yeah, they are reviewing it. That's the reason why we have parental controls and viewing restrictions. So flagging the content will do nothing. Is that what you're saying? Because there has been a disturbing amount of new uh, pedophile content added. It can do something. I'll let this concern reach our content team so they'll know your issue. This is very troubling, Ernesto. May I know the email address on your account? I've deleted my account. <laughs> I refuse to do business with those who enable pedophiles. And you're telling me the same people letting it on the platform are the ones reviewing it. So that pretty much answers my questions. All right, do you have more concern that I can tell the content team? I'm concerned that they may be violating their sex offender parole. Okay, a little, a little zinger right there. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised that you don't seem very bothered by this. If there's one thing all normal people hate, it's pedophilia and harming children. I do understand your concern about our content that our content team are putting on in our list of shows. However, I can't do something for now rather than to notify them of your concern. Would there be anything else? This conversation continues on and eventually asks, how does a movie sexualizing children get approved? Who signed off on this? We understand that not all of our stories may appeal to all of our viewers, which is why we always invest in a diverse range of content from all over the world. We also provide ratings, synopsis, trailers, and controls to help our members make the right viewing choices for themselves and for their families. Okay, I, I get that. <laughs> that's a very 
It's a very corporate answer. So let's get more direct. Do you support pedophilia? A simple yes or no will suffice. We cannot really comment on that, but we believe in creative freedom. At Netflix, we respect all religions and their cultures, traditions, and values. Wow! <laughs> okay, that's, that, that is, that's not even the question. Do you or do you not? So as you can see, you're not getting a straight answer from Netflix. Granted, I know that was a customer support team and he has little to do with anything going on over there. So I can't get too riled up about that because those answers were very like, where's the, where's that paragraph I'm supposed to write if somebody says yes to this? <laughs> it was a very corporate response to everything that was being mentioned. But here's the other thing. This film debuted at Sundance Film Festival. And it actually, I think it won an award. I don't remember which award. I don't care which award, because why wouldn't it win an award? That's par for the course. And that's the other thing that I was really reflecting on is how can something like this make it through so many obstacles to get the green light? Go, yeah, this is good. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the answer is there's a real desensitization to this. I, I, I mean, I've heard all the rumors, you know, of what is really going on in Hollywood. And th this is kind of that, this is this a little bit of that curtain being removed. Granted, that is my personal opinion, but that's what it sure seems like. And so as a result of becoming too desensitized to something, inadvertently things will get through. Like you can't cover all your bases all the time to appear normal. Things will always leak out because you're so desensitized to it, you don't see the wrong that's actually there. And that's what's crazy. So Netflix did come out and apologize, but <laughs> their apology made things worse because the only thing they apologized about was their poster that they used to promote the film. Okay, somebody decided that that image was the best image for what this movie was or what this movie is. So somebody had to decide that. And this, this whole, this whole thing just is sick from the top to the bottom. I don't know, like, I, how do you, how as a parent do you even let your child be in something like this? I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to understand it, quite frankly. I, I don't want to understand that. Here's the truth. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. He went and worked for Netflix. <laughs> but to be honest, this is not the first instance of this kind of filth being on Netflix. Now, there was one movie called Desire um, that came out, and it was pretty ridiculed for accusations of CP. And I would even go so far as to talk about Big Mouth. I mean, that show is about kids and engaging in all sorts of just raunchy activity. And it's, it's really disgusting. The only reason this show even gets a pass is because it's animated. That's it. No other reason. All of this really reminds me of this other video I did about a year ago. And it was this woman talking about how we need to in effect, normalize pedophiles and their attraction to minors. That it's not a behavioral health problem, but that we need to recognize it as an attraction and orientation, like any other sexual orientation. They just happen to be attracted to minors. This is the slippery slope that people talk about. This is, this is it, this is literally it. And you can call me a fear monger or whatever, but I'm telling you, man, if this, if it continues, like, let's, let me just say, we have to keep this stuff in check. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what'll happen. Anyways, guys, that's the video. If you like this video, please go down and like it. If you have not yet already, please subscribe to the channel. There's content like this all the time. And if you didn't like this video, if you're just like, Chase, Chase, this, this movie is supposed to give you that very reaction you're having. That, that's what it's about. 
that we should avoid this by showing it. <laughs> okay, if that's if that's your thoughts, um, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to. I don't know that I'd love to read that, but um, I, I'm definitely always curious as to what people think. Anyways, guys, that's the video, and as always, peace out.